Hey everyone, and welcome to another video here at Whiteboard Doctor. Thanks for joining us today. Quick disclaimer before we move on, none of these videos are intended to be acted upon as medical advice. Please pause the video here and read the disclaimer in its entirety before moving on. Channel plug, here at Whiteboard Doctor, our mission is to bring you interesting, relevant, and understandable medical education for all types of lifelong learners, trainees, and practitioners. If you want to follow along, we do have a lovely subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of all the videos. Don't forget to hit that like button. And lastly, if you'd like to support us outside of viewing our videos, we have several ways in which you can do that linked in the video description and pinned comment. Stay well, keep learning, and back to the video. All right, and welcome back to another video. Today, I am going to do another update on the series I Have Omicron. Uh, for those of you that have been following along, I was diagnosed with COVID-19 a handful of days ago, presumably Omicron. Um, as a doctor, I thought it could be interesting to kind of vlog or video log my experience having Omicron and thoughts on it and all that kind of stuff. For those of you just finding this video who have not seen the previous videos, this is our homepage at Whiteboard Doctor, the YouTube channel. And we have put out a few videos, lots of Omicron content, but a few videos on this series of I Have Omicron. Uh, the first one was about three days ago, I Have Omicron, A Doctor's Experience and Perspective. We've been blown away by the number of you that have watched that video, um, wished me well, um, shared your story and symptoms with me. And then a few days later, we put out an update, I Have Omicron, Update on Symptoms and Thoughts. If you have not seen those, definitely watch those because they'll frame the discussion here. I'm not going to go into nearly as much detail as I did in those videos on my past symptoms and progression because that's what those videos are for. This video, I'm going to provide an update. Also, many of you in those previous videos voiced confusion or annoyance or frustration with the fact that I keep referring to myself as we or us rather than I and me. Um, for those of you who have been subscribed to the channel, you might notice that in Almost all the videos, I typically use we and us um, in reference to the entity whiteboard doctor, which is what the YouTube channel is. Um, it sounds like me doing this in these I Have Omicron videos, though, was quite confusing. People were curious if there was more than one person I was referencing and all that. So I will do my best to stick to I and me in this video. To be transparent, I think this is my maybe eighth time attempting to record this because I just naturally keep falling into using we and us rather than I and me. So apologies if a few of those sneak through, but I am referring to myself. It is just me. I'm not referring to anyone else. I Have Omicron final update. We put Good. I put final update here um, because I am feeling a lot better, thankfully. I'm going to go back to work here in a couple of days. But I will keep kind of doing intermittent updates, especially if I have some persistent symptoms or I'm worried about long COVID or post-COVID syndrome or anything like that. So I'll check in again in a few days, but this might be the final kind of big update um, on symptom progression. Just a brief overview um, for those of you that watch the other videos, but don't quite remember kind of the, the symptomatology that I had. I believe I was exposed maybe on New Year's Eve, if not at work at the hospital. Those were kind of the only two things that I have done recently. I'm a young-ish, not comorbid, fully vaccinated and boosted with the Pfizer at the end of October individual. I have not been previously infected as far as I'm aware of. I did do um, serology looking for previous infection a few times over the last two years, and it's always been negative. My symptoms began either the evening of January 4th, I just started to not really feel like myself, but really when I woke up January 5th, I had fatigue, headaches, sore throat, a dry exertional cough, really only with walking around, and some congestion. I did a rapid test on the 5th, January 5th, that was negative, and I did a PCR test on January 6th that was positive. I had these same symptoms January 6th and 7th. Again, in the previous video I put out, I go into a lot more detail on my symptoms and when they started and how bad they were. And then interestingly, on January 8th, 1-8, I started to actually feel better. I had almost no symptoms throughout the day, just some very mild fatigue, but the rest of my symptoms went away. Oddly, though, then in the evening of January 8th, I actually started to develop fevers, chills, really bad upper back and shoulder muscle aches and fatigue and headaches that were persistent into January 9th. I actually forgot to write headaches here. Headaches were a big part of that a cluster of symptoms. So it was kind of interesting that, you know, symptoms were persistent for a few days, then they actually got better. 
then they recurred but in a little different manner and many of you have shared that you have had similar experiences with waxing and waning symptoms this was the last update we provided january we i provided january 9th so i wanted to update you on january 10th and 11th Yesterday, I woke up in the morning and actually felt a lot, lot better. Um, remember, January 9th were arguably some of my, my more severe symptoms. Even though I didn't have really sore throat or congestion, the aches were really terrible. The headaches were really terrible. The fatigue was awful. And then these chills and fevers were, were unpleasant, you know, sweating at night and all that kind of stuff. I woke up the morning of January 10th and I felt a lot better. I had just some very mild residual fatigue and then some very mild aches. And my aches have always been upper back and shoulders. And it was really kind of shoulders and neck that was achy yesterday. Throughout the day, I continued to feel a lot better to the point where I felt like maybe I was back to my baseline and I attempted a jog. Um, I've actually been training for a marathon before I got COVID. So I, I wanted to see if I uh, you know, could still maintain some of my cardio. And that was a terrible idea. Uh, it was an epic fail. I went maybe a couple blocks before I was coughing and felt exhausted and my aches came back and I had a little bit of a headache. So, um, you know, maybe an oversight on my end, pushing too much too quick, but uh, the hope was that I was better and could uh, get back on that um, training and really um, failed on that. So after I got back from the jog, I felt kind of crummy for an hour or so. Um, but then again, the aches really went away. The headaches went away. The fatigue went back to being a very, very minor, just some, you know, minor kind of brain fog. Then this morning I woke up and I feel even better again. I'd say almost back to kind of full strength at rest, let's put, because I don't think if I were to go for a jog, I, I'd feel great, but almost full strength at rest, very minor fatigue. The aches are actually gone. The chills and fevers are gone. The sore throat, the congestion is gone. The headaches are gone. I do have, which it's kind of waxed and waned over time this morning again, kind of a dry cough. I didn't have one yesterday until I jogged. I didn't have one on the 9th. I didn't have one on the 8th. I did have one on the 5th, 6th, and 7th though. It's not productive. It's not bringing up any sputum. I don't think it's anything like, uh, you know, now bacterial pneumonia after I've already started to get better from COVID. Um, I kind of blame this jog potentially as a nidus for just kind of bringing this dry cough back up. But otherwise, I'm feeling a lot better this morning. Um, again, like I mentioned, my uh, isolation period at the hospital is almost over, so I'll be returning to work here in a bit. Um, given how many healthcare workers are out and we, you know, my hospital, like many hospitals, has a massive number of healthcare workers who are out with COVID causing, you know, even more healthcare worker shortages on top of what has already been uh, a healthcare worker shortage for the past, you know, at least months, if not year. Um, because of that, I, I think I have the distinct privilege of working, you know, something like two weeks in a row. So we'll, uh, we'll push to the test, get back on the horse and uh, really dive right in. Because of that, I'm going to try really hard to um, keep making content. Uh, the videos may not be every day, hopefully every other day, at least every third day. Um, they might be a touch shorter just until I get uh, some days off, depending on how my clinical uh, clinical demands go. But we're gonna I'm gonna work hard to stay on top of it and keep getting content out. Um, again, I appreciate all the you know support and well wishes everyone shared. Uh, I appreciate everyone sharing their story. I apologize for the confusing use of we and us in the previous videos. Um, and uh, for those still struggling with COVID, I hope you continue to feel better like I am and uh, get to a point where you're feeling closer to your baseline. I'll come out with another update in a couple of days, even if that update is, I feel totally better, back to my normal self, no issues. Um, but I know of you, a lot of you have been following along, so I want to make sure I close the loop with you all um, and let you know that uh, uh, how things are going. Uh, with no further ado, let us know how you're all, let me know how you're feeling, thoughts, comments, questions, concerns, share your story. Um, hit that subscribe button, the bell button. If you'd want to follow along, we'd love to have you. Um, and with no further ado, um, stay well, keep learning, and I slash we at Whiteboard Doctor. We'll see you all next time.